Prince Harry and Meghan Markle revealed on Monday they had welcomed a baby boy into the world at 5.26 a.m. on Monday, May 6, weighing in at 7 pounds 3 ounces. The announcement came less than an hour after Buckingham Palace, which manages the couple's communication office since their split from Prince William and Kate's household in March, had revealed the Duchess of Sussex had been in labor. Royal expert Duncan Larcom was furious at the delay in announcing Meghan's labor and warned it could have implications for the royal couple. Speaking on Yahoo's The Royal Box, he said, I think with the press that Harry probably doesn't ever like the press. But I think there is a danger that by shutting them out time and time again. We saw it in the wedding in comparison to William and Kate, we have seen it again with this royal birth. And then there was the email announcing that she had gone into labor, and it turned out seven hours earlier the baby had been born. The palace cannot issue lies, they cannot do that. When asked by PR expert Nick Eade if it was lies or simply a mistake by the palace's press department, Mr. Larcom said, Nick, the people that look after the royals are civil servants. So, what happened? They are either lying or they are incompetent. Either way I wouldn't want that on my CV. Mr. Larcom said the delay is likely to impact on both Harry and Meghan. He added, Harry has got appointed his own team and clearly wants to do something completely different from William, which he is entitled to do. But as a first start for his new media team, they have put a lot of noses out of joint. They even issued a statement accidentally, they claim, to one broadcaster in the UK and snubbing all of the others and blaming it on an email error. The Duchess is believed to have given birth to baby Archie at the Portland Hospital in London and to have returned to her home in Windsor with husband Prince Harry later on Monday. It was revealed on Wednesday that Meghan and Harry had named their child Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. The Royal Family Twitter account posted, The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh were introduced to the newborn son of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at Windsor Castle. Miss Doria Ragland was also present. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are delighted to announce that they have named their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. It is not clear if Archie is short of Archibald, and the reason for the choice of the name is unclear. Harrison has a very literal meaning that the Duke of Sussex has put to use. Originating in the Middle Ages, the name means son of Henry or son of Harry. A photo call was organized this week after Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced in March they would not take part in a public photo shoot immediately after the birth. In an emotional video, Duke and Duchess of Sussex revealed their newborn son to the world for the first time on Wednesday. Meghan said the baby boy has been a dream, and said it has been a special couple of days for the pair. During the video, Meghan said she was still trying to figure that out who baby Archie looked like. Harry added, everyone says that babies change so much over two weeks we're basically monitoring how the changing process happens over this next month really but his looks are changing every single day, so who knows. Harry said parenthood has so far been great, adding, parenting is amazing. It's only been two and a half days, three days, but we're just so thrilled to have our own little bundle of joy. Buckingham Palace was contacted by Express.co.uk regarding Mr. Larcom's remarks, but have declined to comment.